The bespoke carousel produces a wide range of products, such as beams, columns and cladding panels. As the products vary in terms of shape, size and complexity, the bespoke carousel has 10 setup bays that are offline, allowing the operatives who work in teams of two or three to take as long as is required to prepare the product for casting. The system is incredibly flexible, allowing the use of the steel pallet as part of the mould, or the pallet can support a steel, timber or GLP mould. The size of the steel production pallet and the height of the roller shutter doors ensures that any product manufactured on the production line can be safely transported to site with no special requirements. The reinforcement hall provides the production operatives with a fully built reinforcement cage on a just-in-time basis, complete with all loose fittings and inserts to allow the teams to set up a unit from a kit of parts provided to them at the setup bay. Once the teams have completed the preparation of a unit for casting and completed the pre-pour quality checks, the yellow roller shutter door opens on the setting up bay and the steel pallet traverses through it and back into the production line to be transported to the casting station. When the unit arrives at the casting station, the correct volume of concrete is ordered to cast the unit. Due to the variety of products produced on a bespoke carousel, numerous different concrete mixes in a wide range of colours and strengths can be ordered and placed by the casting machine. The concrete is batched and placed in the unit by the semi-automated casting machine. Once casting is complete, it moves to the finishing bay for floating prior to placing in the curing chamber to cure at constant temperature and humidity. Once the unit is cured, it is removed from the curing chamber and demolded for checking and finishing. The mould and pallet is then cleaned and re-enters the carousel and transferred back into the setting up bay to repeat the process.